Yes, indeed. The, the, the view up here is incredible. I, you know, I, actually, I'm sitting down looking across, out the, looking at the window at Algiers Point. It's, it's, it's extremely beautiful, and it's extremely comfortable in here. So, yeah, we're going to do a couple of other things for you and christen the new studio. This is actually a song that we was working on. Uh, a tribute to Louis Armstrong record before the pandemic. And this song was written about uh, some actual events that happened in my life. But they were since we were doing a Louis Armstrong record, we wanted to put this in uh, the context the proper context so I had a little incident at a club in New Orleans back in the day that I wound up with about 132 stitches on my neck so my friend Irving Mayfield who was helping me with this project decided he said man we need to write something about that and then what we need to do is uh, find a name for that knife so what more appropriate name could I have come up with other than Mac <laughs> That's his name. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Where'd you go? I thought I saw you on the floor by the voodoo shrine behind the butcher's door. Why you don't visit me no more? Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Where'd you go? I thought I saw you on the floor By the voodoo shrine behind the butcher's door Why you don't visit me no more Remember 69 way back that year You told me something that I couldn't hear You made a deal with some haters that was standing near Right before you left me with a souvenir You came and went just like that you dab the killer's hand, stab the dying back. Trouble couldn't make you take the rap. Uh, you cut straight through to trim the fat. Now, hey, Mac, hey, Mac, where'd you go? I thought I saw you on the floor by the voodoo shrine behind the butcher's door. Why you don't visit me no more? They all looking for you. Google eyes, if a day and old is a cool. Uncle Slide, Grandpa Slaughter, they waiting too. Even bug juice and jabbing to tell you the truth. Oh, what's the matter, Matt? Can't cut it no more. Second line black, said he saw you go. And slips back, pocket hit for the door. Even skin booty said, don't nobody know. Now, hey, Matt, hey, Matt. Where'd you go? I thought I saw you on the floor By the voodoo shrine behind the butcher's door Why you don't visit me no more? Come on, Charlie. Pin y'all on piano.
Apollinario. Hey, Matt, where'd you go? Oh, I saw you on the floor by the voodoo shrine behind the butcher's door. Why you don't visit me no more? Hey, Matt, hey, Matt, where'd you go? I thought I saw you on the floor by the voodoo No more. Why you don't visit me no more? 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 Hey Mac, why you won't come visit me no more? Hey Mac, why you won't mind up? Hey Mac, tell I've been looking for you. Hey Mac, I'm gonna tell you. The mighty Cyril Neville with Omari Neville and the Fuel. They're performing live in the GMAON Prima Foundation studio. And we are broadcasting live on our YouTube and Facebook page right here at WWOZ 90.7 FM. Cyril, how are you doing today? Oh, man, this is beautiful, bro. This is like uh, what I told Beth earlier, that everything that is happening for WWOZ is well-deserved. Thank you so much. WWZ has been serving this community for quite some time now, so there's no other radio station like this, I don't think, in the universe. So, yeah, Agreed. I'm very proud to be here, very honored to be actually chosen by Beth as the first live band to play in a new studio. That's right, you, you are. No better than that. You, you have know? just christened the studio with your band. This is definitely one of the uh, hippest things that happened to me. It, I got chosen to be the first live act on the new WWZ uh, station, so don't get no better than this. You are so right, now, uh, Cyril, and thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Let's hear another song, and then we'll talk some more. How about that? All right. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to do another, since we are on the subject of that record that I did, of uh, tribute to Louis Armstrong, working with uh, my good friend and mentor, Mr. Irvin Mayfield, um, I learned everything. I learned all of the Louis Armstrong songs the way Louis did them. But when I got to the studio, the arrangements that him and Ron Markham had came up with was just so, I mean, different from what Louis had done that, you know, I had to regroup and go back in and woodshed on it and make it something that I could live with, right? So this song that you're about to hear was actually my Uncle Jolly's favorite Louis Armstrong song. And I had the pleasure of recording it. Like, this was before the pandemic. So we didn't do anything with it, so nobody ever heard it. So this is the first time a lot of you going to get a chance to hear it. Y'all the first people hearing this. On WWOZ Radio, at had that. Taught me to be true. 
true She made me for someone Oh, 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 oh. exactly like you And I know, and I know why I've been blue Well, I prayed each night for someone Oh, oh, girl, exactly like you Why do we spend money On a show or two When nobody does love scene Mighty Cyril Neville with Omari Neville and the Fuel live in the WWOZ studio, the GMA owned Prima Foundation studio. Live here, christening the studio. And Cyril, did you? I'm wondering if, if Louis Armstrong ever thought his songs would sound so groovy and smooth. <laughs> well, Louis Armstrong was a master innovator, and I think he wouldn't be mad at all about it. No, that. I think he would have been like, you I'm. Know. <laughs> I'm really grooving and shaking. Yes. So, so, how much do you feel like a teacher, and how much do you feel like a student playing with the fuel? It definitely goes both ways. You know, um, having been around these little cats since they was, you know, real young in their teens, and to have been able to witness the growth and witness the, you know. What, what, you, what you're seeing and you're hearing right now, I saw 
this in its embryological stage when there were a band called Rejected Youth Nation that you could find songs from that that's up on YouTube right now. And it was like in the mid to late teens when they did that. So that's how long they've been playing together. Being on stage with these guys is like being on stage with my brothers, the Meters, the Wild Chapatulas, Nirvana, Jefferson Airplane, and about five or six other rock groups. They're amazing young musicians. My son turned me on to Nirvana. I didn't know nothing about all of that stuff. So like I said, it's going, it's going two ways now. This is another one of Louis Armstrong's most popular songs. But uh, as I said, some musical liberties were taken with. <laughs> you know? So this is uh, actually, a, this is Urban Mayfield's rendition of this particular song, one of what Lewis is most popular. And this is Cyril Neville live in the GMA owned Prima Foundation studio at WWOZ, and you can also watch this on our YouTube and Facebook channel.
the moonlight on the bayou. Creole tools fill the air. Oh, and I dream of magnolias in blue. Well, I wish I were there. Cyril, that was beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you. It sounded like it sounded like you were on a balcony far away singing about New Orleans, and at the same time, you were sitting on the balcony with New Orleans singing it to her. Very emotional. Oh man. Like I got I got goosebumps. I've never heard that version that way. You think you got one more song for the listeners, Cyril? Man, I always oh, man. got one more song, bro. Matter of fact, I'd like to do this one this uh, a special shout out. To one of my mentors and one of my best friends ever, Big Chief Alfred Doucette. Right on. Mighty Kurifayo Indian Ray Indian. The big sheep ball eagle, the wild trap is cooler. Uptown ruler. No bar, don't know how. Get off the spot, boy. 
Cyril Neville.